Now this is going to be a very, very long battle because I'm going to be battering him from a distance. He's got artillery in there, so there will be an artillery duel that takes a great deal of time. Um, so I, I'm going to show snapshots of this battle, really, instead of the whole battle. I think I can give you a good idea of how the battle runs without having to show the entire battle because it's going to take, what, uh, I don't know, what would it be, six videos or something like that, you know, just to show the battle. So anyway, let's get on with it, and um, I'll certainly show you the result, there's no doubt about it. Right. Uh, these will come in on su as support if I want them, by the way. So, actually, it might be an idea just to bring in some, make sure I've got some good troops that I can bring on in support. So, what have we got here and here? Yeah, it's these. You see, these generals would be the first one to come on, and I don't really want that. So, what I'm going to do is have um, these men here and bring those over to, say, here. Yep. So the first troops that come on in support should really be those, and I'll filter on infantry onto the battlefield um, after the battle started. OK, so let's go for it. Now, this is what I was saying before. I'll just show you this quickly. I know, I know people say I'm slow, but I need to show you this, really. Range, 80, 80 which is normal. OK, accuracy. This is line infantry, by the way. 52. So 52 accuracy. Let's have a look at one of mine, the the um, one of my line infantry units accuracy 39 compared to 52 okay so we've got melee attack 11 on his and on mine 10 so melee is better uh, 13 melee defense and morale 10 so 9 melee defense and morale 11 so morale is better which is good news isn't it but uh, anyhow his troops are far superior to mine so in a one-on-one -on -one fight I'm definitely going to lose that but I am going to fight the battle it is in my favor I don't know how much it is, is really in my favor I could lose that you know but it does look as though it's slightly in my favour, and I would hope, really, that, that um, I would win it. But I don't want to risk it, and I want to keep some of my troops, because I want to move down Italy and into Sicily, so I want to keep as many of my, of, as many of my troops in order as I possibly can. So if I were to win this, I'd lose about 600 men, and I don't know how many I'm going to need for Sicily. So, without further ado, let's go for it. OK, here's the uh, the battle lineup. You can see the red line over at the um, uh, the side there. Those are his troops. Mine are the blue ones over here. Um, I've got my general in the middle here. I'm just going to inspire one of my um, units to make them fire just that little bit better. I'm going to choose the better one that I've got here, which is a 20-pounder. I'm targeting his guns. Um, he's got some guns over there that will be able to do me some damage. Um, and they're over... Ooh, where are they? I don't know where they are now. They're here somewhere. Here you go. Notice he's in fortifications, so um, that means that uh, when I charge, I'm going to be hit by all this uh, chevre de free that he's got here. He's got guns over here as well. He always makes this mistake. He puts some of his guns inside um, buildings, which means, well, behind buildings, inside villages, I should say, which is a problem for him, which means that he can't fire those at all. See? Firing not in combat. In fact, they're not firing at all, really. So they're no danger to me at all. You can see I'm taking some hits on my infantry here. That'll be from that artillery that I told you about. Um, oh, look, we've got a hit here already. So I want to take his artillery out as quickly as I can. How many have we got there now? 118 out of 120. So it's not as bad as we might first have thought. Let's have a closer look at that, actually, before his cavalry start coming in. Yeah. OK. Uh, he seems to take a hit. I don't know where the... Oh, there's one down there, isn't there? So we've taken hits, but not many. I think these have taken some as well, haven't they? So, OK. Uh, let's see what he's doing. Uh, you can see I lined out second, by the way. So formed up second, I should say, uh, best, rather than the line out, which is a rugby term. Um, and hmm, he's down 17 out of 18 there. So, uh, yeah, I could do with taking those guns out, really, first. So he's not doing me any damage whatsoever. I thought I saw something there then, down by that village. No, nope, can't see anything else. So you know what the score's going to be. It's going to be um, shelling him from a distance, as much as we possibly can. Anything that comes through this village, of course, we're going to um, uh, shoot out as it comes through. I've interspersed my Jaegers um, with my Musketeers. So I've got both Jaegers and Musketeers um, in my line-out, um, because I can reach and I can fire more efficiently with my Jaegers than I can indeed with my musketeers. So anyway, let's see what happens. Okay, and uh, anything important happens, I'll let you know. I'll show you exactly what's happening. So is that a quick look along the lines. It's sometimes nice, isn't it, to see close-ups. There are the musketeers. And over here, you can just see there in the background, you can see the unicorns firing. And over here, 
you can see my Jaegers ready. Only one rank, I'm afraid, a bit sparse. I grabbed the whole of the infantry and spread them all out across the line um, to match his line, basically. Well, not quite match. I've got infantry behind the back here, as you can see, just behind the wing, I should say, behind the flank, more accurately, just behind there, so that I can um, expand my flank a little. And I've got horse behind there as well. I've only got two lots of horse. One down here as well. My horse are barely any better than his, even though mine are Karazias. Let's have a closer look at those. Um, haven't seen any of his cavalry come and attack me yet, which is rather nice. Uh, have a look down here. There you go. There you can see them there. And we'll see what um, what happens later on in the game, and I'll bring you back in. It looks like somebody's running away already, and I don't know why, because I don't even seem to remember firing at those. Uh, where are they? They're these here. Oh, six pound of foot artillery. And I wasn't even firing at them. I was firing at this, I hope, over here instead. That's these. Hmm. 16 out of 18 of those. Why? Have I fired at the wrong artillery, maybe? I'm really not too sure. Let's train the artillery on those again. Just to see. Now, they're the ones that can't reach. I must have just got a lucky shot with the other artillery, because I'm sure they were all firing at this artillery. But, uh, hmm. Am I wrong? Right, some some cavalry coming through here, so it's going to heat up a bit. But this battle really is going to go the distance, and it's going to last an hour. So um, I'll speed it up, and um, and then I'll come back and show you the results um, at various stages, or certainly at the end. Well, we've taken some pretty heavy losses from this um, quality army here. And um, I've just got some uh, reinforcements coming on now. I had a unit that went down to about 24 or 25. Um, it's superior firepower. When he gets near to me, he's blowing anything out um, that he gets hold of. So um, I'm a bit disappointed I've got general staff coming on here. Because if you remember, I purposely put... Um, oh, or is it general staff? Yeah, it is general staff, yeah. I'm very disappointed in the new general coming on because I put infantry as my next reinforcement, if you remember. They were the nearest troops. Maybe because these are horse, they're getting there quicker. I just don't know. But that's really... annoying, yeah. <laughs> really, because, you know, I purposely put infantry there as being the next group to come along. Uh, the troops that routed from the field went down to about 24. I flew my general right over to the bottom left-hand corner on the top map, you can see, just down there, um, and uh, pressed the rally sign for them, and they didn't rally. So I thought, well, bearing in mind, you know, these armies that go down to about 17 men, regiments go down to 17 men on the enemy's side, I thought it was a bit rich that it wouldn't let me do that really, but anyhow, there we go. Um, what have we got here? I think I might be out of range now of these. I probably am. I think he's squeezed himself back far enough now. Uh, oh no. No, still in range of everybody. And he's coming on again for yet another attack. What have we got here? 51. Um, 31. 36. 47. And 28. So uh, he's got less than 240 men there, I think. And so he's just going to get hammered, isn't he, really, I think. So anyway, this is the dying embers of the game. Um, I won't sort of labour this any longer. The reason why I haven't attacked this artillery, by the way, I'm pointing now again at the top map, that cross there. Um, and you can see this gun here has um, chevrolet free around it and defences. And although I've hit him several times, taken him down to 7 out of 18 men, and only two guns left, um, I haven't charged him with any cavalry yet because I don't want to lose any against those um, uh, against those chevrolet free. I've lost more men than I ever expected to lose, and I think it's quite possible I might have lost this on an auto resolve, bearing in mind how flipping hard it's been to fight it. It really has. He's looking very thin, but each of these will still fire. Look how effective they are. There's still two chevrolet. Well, four. There's uh, six chevrolet, aren't they? Now those, I think. So, ah, got another one routing. What's he got now? About four units left to go in with. Anyway, this is a dying um, um, part of the battle. You can imagine what's going to happen now. We're going to beat him when he gets close up to us, and then we're going to um, uh, attack his artillery at the back with Jaegers, shooting them from a distance on artillery mode. Um, it's all going to take about 20 minutes, and we've got, what, about 22 minutes left. So um, I won't keep you, and um, I'll just show you the results afterwards. Well, that went down as a heroic victory. I still managed to lose 443, though, I'm afraid. But um, anyway, I've got a heck of a lot more remaining than he has. He should be wiped out now. Quick look at the results. Um, I should find I've done pretty well with everything. I've gained chevrons on the unicorns, of course. Musketeers, um, again, I bet you I'm disappointed. 31 out of um, 28 lost. 
23 and 29 lost, so anywhere where we met his Musketeers, we were losing more than him, even though we outnumbered him all over the place. 79 killed, 96 lost. Just a nightmare. I tried firing in advance from a standing position as well. No chance. He just fires more accurately, and he fires quicker than I do, I'm afraid. So, let's get rid of the sound. Oh. So I occupy first, then I'll get rid of the sound. Okay. 